It's been a crazy few years for you, man. Uh, 60,000 records in Germany or something like that that you've sold. You know, the reception over there has been huge, so did that kind of lump a lot of pressure on you to be like, okay, what do I actually do next? I, like, it's been four years from my from the from the debut album, so over the four years that I kind of progressed into that more rockier sound, I started developing into different sounds. And then I was like, right, I gotta, I gotta calm down a little bit here. I gotta bring it back more <laughs> acoustic, you know. So it might, might be too much of a jump, you know. So from the first album, I never knew you were in River Dance when you were younger. I was, yes. I joined them when I was about fifteen, so uh, I toured for for five, four or five years. Incredible. So did that give you? Because obviously they were huge stages, and you did Broadway and everything as well. So yeah. Did that sort of, uh, I guess, exposure to huge audiences and all that kind of give you a craving for what you're getting it right now? Definitely give me a craving for it. Absolutely. I mean, the energy on stage was uh, was unbelievable. It's like a, it's like a a drug, you know, when you're mm -hmm. standing on stage, and as we were playing to 10,000 people a night there when we were tra traveling around at that stage, so that I definitely, I definitely got the itch for it. You know, you gave up on music quite a few times in, 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 in your passing, kind of, for the last 10 years. Yeah, I did. I gave it up for about eight years because mm -hmm. I came back from finishing off bands and then I started. Uh, managing bars. Bills got in the way and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And I, and music that I just didn't have time for the music. And then I opened my own little venue and I got the chance to open that and then I got the chance to get out of it. It was the best decision I ever made my whole life. First time I saw you was when you supported Taylor Swift in Three Arena uh, back in 2010, which is absolutely crazy to think, obviously, how big she is now. From the busking to supporting Taylor Swift, how quickly did that happen? And was it kind of like a, a bit of a whirlwind? Yeah, it was ridiculously quick. Mm. I didn't have time to kind of sit back and go, right, what's going on here? It was just like, <laughs> you're, you're going here, you're going there, and that's the way it was, you know? So it was just very, very quick. I mean, I was only busking for maybe eight months, seven months or something, and, mm. and then it was where I got a record deal, and then, and all just uh, kind of kicked off then. And, and another place, of course, you've been to and uh, been very well received is Australia. Yeah, so Australia. We're just back from Australia as well. So a lot of Irish at the gigs, mm -hmm. and obviously, and uh, family and friends that I didn't even know was there was at the gigs. <laughs> you know, it was great to see everybody, and it's great to get over there. You know, mm -hmm. especially going away over to the other side of the world and have people come to your gig is just phenomenal. So. You excited to get back here and start I, gigging here again? I'm like ecstatic, as mm. I say. It's been four years since I've done a tour in Ireland, and we done we just done the uh, Wheelands and we were in Monaghan, and I'm delighted to get back and and uh, get back on tour for the next couple of weeks. And of course, play the new song. So uh, you're gonna play another one for us. Uh, yes. Awesome. Take it away. All this time I thought of you. I'm wondering how you've been, where you are. And where 